Hello friends, my name is Jeroboam Kimtai, the electrician, and this is Electrical Awareness. Last time we were able to share something on Christmas lighting, and these lights that you wind around Christmas trees or any kind of lighting when it comes to celebration. And as we watched and as you watched that video, one of our viewers asked a question. And this question goes like this. What is the explanation behind alternating current being more dangerous than direct current? That is the question that we are going to tackle today. And it is bringing about a whole episode of our video today. So before we continue, most welcome. And I give thanks to those that have already subscribed, that have shared and watch these videos that I've been doing in this YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is all about electrical awareness. Electrical awareness is what is lacking when it comes to us using electricity. We said, and I have now begun to pass out information about electricity having major presence in your house. If electricity has a major presence in your house, you will only learn about it when it has caused problems. And so Mr. Ken, who asked this question, it is valid. And thank you so much because this is what is going to explain how this presence comes about and from which kind of electricity. Welcome, welcome, welcome and thank you. Electricity largely comes from direct current or alternating current. When we learn about alternating current vis-a-vis -vis direct current, we can use a line that we used to draw for those that have learned electricity in any way and those that have not learned, today learn this. You draw a line, electricity that goes through a straight line is direct current. But when it comes to electric, electricity that comes from alternating current, we have a straight line and then we have something like a wave, okay? Forth, back, forth, back like that, yes. So, forth or going forward is positive, back, negative. So, we'll have positive, negative, positive, negative, all right? But with the DC, we have a straight line and then it goes out to the negative terminal, all right? So, in direct current, we will have two wires, one on positive, another one on negative. With alternating current, all right, we will have one wire getting connected to positive, negative, okay, in that line, yeah? okay, positive, negative, and then we shall have return, which is neutral, all right. So a live wire has positive, negative, positive, negative, that is an alternating current and a neutral. But a negative, but, but, but a direct current, direct current has positive and negative. So this wave creates a frequency. The wave from alternating current, there's a frequency. That is where the problem comes in and that is why you are shocked with alternating current. Why? As alternating current has a frequency, a person has a frequency on the heart. When your heart beats, it has a frequency. And this frequency is measured in around 60 to 72 times of the heartbeat in one minute. So that is a standard. So you have a frequency. Here comes electricity also with its kind of frequency. So when electricity interferes with the frequency of your heart, then we say you are shocked. <laughs> you are shocked. So we have another statement today, therefore. In the last episode, we've been learning repeatedly that a person is said to have been shocked when he is part of electric circuit. All right? You are a part of it. Okay, so second point is, why are you shocked when you are part of alternating current? And why are you not shocked when you are touching a direct current in any way? Maybe the terminals of those battery batteries you have 
and so on. You are shocked when you become part of an alternating current because alternating current interferes with your heart. Okay, alternating current has a frequency that interferes with the frequency of your heartbeat. That's, that's it. That's an explanation of why we are shocked by alternating current. In layman's language, we can say electric, electricity from alternating current or the current from, from which is alternating goes direct to the heart and interferes with the heart frequency. All right. So that is what you have learned today. And I'm sure you are, you are learning something again and again. So we have a frequency from alternating current that interferes with the frequency of your heart. And that is why you are shocked. Now, on touching on alternating current for some time, you are shocked and this becomes more severe and it may eventually lead to electrocution and that means you are dead, all right? But this depends on the part of the body through which you are touching that current, alternating current, the edge of the person touching the current, okay? Okay, another thing is for how long you are touching that current, alternating current. So I'll be bringing a series of the difference between alternating current and direct current in these subsequent videos that are coming ahead and after this. But for today, that is what I wanted to explain on the question that we were asked about the explanation behind alternating current being more dangerous than direct current. And just a recap, therefore, alternating current has a frequency that interferes with the frequency of the heart, whereas direct current doesn't have frequency. Thank you so much for watching, and I know you will enjoy this video. Let's meet 